Hello from Microsoft. My name is Arwen and I'm joined here with my colleague Jessica. Hi everybody, I'm Jessica. It's great to be here today. Today we are really excited to be telling a booking story with you, share some progress and preview a lot of cool innovation that's happening in the world. Today we really want to talk about a few things. What bookings is and what value does it provide for your organization? Then we want to partner and imagine with you on how bookings can be employed as a powerful tool in your organization. What are all the scenarios of how it can add value to yours? We have been working really hard for the past many months on innovating a ton of features. So we want to unpack those with you through an interactive demo. Finally, we want to give you an overview of the road ahead. What are the things that's keeping us busy and what are the problems that we want to challenge and solve it for you in the future? Before we go deep, I would like to pause and reflect on something very important. Time. If there is something that's common and ubiquitous to all of us, that is time. Irrespective of our organizational makeup, whether we are a trillion dollar organization operating across circular geographies, across multiple time zones with thousands of employees connecting and collaborating with millions of users, or if you're a small business operating in a little town, providing a niche service, time is a common commodity between those. In fact, I would go on to say that time is the most granular atomic unit representation of a value. We at Microsoft take this very seriously and treat time as a first class construct that we constantly want to push the boundaries on. We do that so that you can manage time better and you can elevate your operational efficiencies and you, your team, your organization and your customers are empowered to do more. Let's begin with the scheduling challenge. And if I had to abstract scheduling and put an interpretation to that, it's all about the transaction between resources and calendars in an agreement to exchange a value or a service all under the fabric of time. Easier said than done. Scheduling has always been an elusive problem and it's been a very hard challenge, both in terms of complexity, tediousness, and the labor intensiveness that it brings along. Not to mention all these gets exponentially tougher when we put in variables like regions, time zones. How do you schedule among multiple people? And in the busy day that we have today, how do we accommodate a lot of events and resolve conflicts? So scheduling always poses to be a tough problem. When we sat down and decided to solve for this, it essentially boiled down to three ingredients if you want to perfect the scheduling system. It came down to how do we connect the right resources at the right time in the most efficient and scalable manner? And Microsoft Bookings, does just that. Microsoft Bookings is a time management solution that sits under the umbrella of Microsoft 365 suite. And it focuses on time and appointment management within the organization and beyond. In fact, I would encourage you to imagine Bookings at the intersection of you, your organization, and your customers transacting and connecting to trade a value in between them. And that is very powerful. Now let's go one level deeper into the scheduling problem and the bookings as a product. If you want to picture the core abilities of bookings, we could do that into a three-dimensional way. The first set of features for Microsoft bookings is centric to enabling convenience and simplicity of usage. The second set of features is around automation and how do we improve the efficiency and do more. The third dimension of the features are around creating more flexibility and providing to the scaling needs of your complex organization. Let's go one by one. The biggest advantage of Microsoft Bookings is the self-serve appointment feature. What it essentially does is that it empowers your customers or your fellow groups to go and book time against you 
without the need to exchange availability through emails or telephones. No more sending messages like, hey, are you free at 3 p.m. tomorrow? No, I'm not. 10 a.m. Monday. We avoid that and we make it easier for you so that you pick that sweet spot of time that's common between you and your customers. And the customer gets to do that all by themselves without even having to talk to you. That is very powerful. Not just that, all the appointments that gets created in Microsoft Bookings also has the ability to be ported to your personal calendar. So it fits well within your plan for the day and you get to carry it wherever you want to in whatever devices. The biggest advantage of Microsoft Bookings is its ability to talk with other Microsoft 365 products, such as Microsoft Teams, Skype for Business. So we have a powerful partnership there so that you can be enabled to cater and provide to virtual and online meetings seamlessly. We do understand that not all appointments are similar in nature. Some of them you would prefer to be a one-on-one -on -one consultations, and some of them could be a group interactions like events, seminars, trainings, etc. Booking supports two distinctive appointment styles, one-to-one -one and one-to-end. And it gives you all the flexibility to go and pick whatever you choose. Moving on to the next pillar, centric around how do we elevate the efficiency while helping you with a lot of automation. Microsoft Bookings is always plugged in with Outlook 365. Basically, it's intelligent and smart enough to input and perceive all the signals, the free busy signals of a calendar and bring it to Microsoft Bookings so that you have one view of time management so that you can manage your appointments and bookings along with your overlapping appointments in Outlook together without having to need to switch between the two apps. Another interesting feature that would help you with reducing the tediousness of scheduling problems is tasks around what happens after you schedule. You normally follow through a confirmation email or notifications and reminders. Bookings has a robust mechanism where all of this could be automated and you can create your own custom rules to define all of that. So you don't have to set your reminder to remind someone and you don't have to open the email to type after an appointment. All of this gets taken care of. Finally, moving to the next pillar of features, centric around flexibility and scale. We do see the need of collaborating with several groups of people in our everyday existence. And there's very likely that each of these people or groups would have their own distinctive calendars. So there is an inherent need to swap the calendars and bookings let you swap between multiple bookings calendars so seamlessly. So that way you're not constrained to one calendar or you don't have to go and log in and log off and do all of that. So that is seamlessly powered in bookings. And another advantage to that is you do have controls where you can define how you want bookings to be consumed by your customers. Whether you want to limit the bookings to happen only within your organization through a login being enforced, or do you want to open it to the worldwide web to make it available for any of your customers to go and book against you? Or if you want to keep it private and choose to book yourself as a proxy for customer. So there are varying degrees of options that, expo that controls the exposure of bookings. And we do, follow through with features such as buffer times and custom availability rules that can be defined for every staff and every service that we support in the piece. Not to mention, we have a robust reporting where all the data pertaining to a bookings calendar gets aggregated and stored for your consumption. And we are constantly improving in this space. Last but not the least, like all the Microsoft 365 products, bookings follows and confirms with the Microsoft 365 security data and complaints policies. So you can be rest assured all the apps that you have in Microsoft 365, including bookings follows that. As we witness the digital transformation that's happening, the need to have a very powerful virtual meeting support is very inert. It's very crucial. We realize that. And that's where our partnership with Teams comes. There are two aspects to this integration, the teams. 
on every time a booking appointment gets created, we go talk to team and generate an individual URL that's specific to the appointment, which lets you go and plug in online. And this is so seamless. So you don't have to alternate between a scheduling app and a collaboration app. While you create bookings, all of this gets provisioned neatly for you. In addition to that, we recently launched the bookings as an app on Teams. What it does is that without leaving the hub experience of Teams, it lets you play around with bookings. You can manage appointments, you can create appointments, you can manage your calendars all within the confines of Teams as a hub. So you don't have to hop between two different products. You can do all of that within Teams. And I think that's a very powerful experience that you'd like to enjoy. Now, having realized what bookings can do for you, I want to punt it to my colleague Jessica, who can explain how booking gets used in the real world today. What are all the scenarios of adoption and how customers are using it? Over to you, Jessica. Thanks, Arvind. That was a really great overview and definitely super helpful to understand everything that Bookings has to offer and everything we've got going on. Um, as mentioned, I'll be doing a double click into some relevant user scenarios and some case study highlights just to kind of get the gears turning about how you could potentially leverage Bookings across your organization. So we know that you have a lot going on, right? Both inside and outside of your organization. There are all kinds of activities and business operations that do require scheduling. Some very large, some very small, but it really varies and there, there's a lot going on. It makes things pretty complicated, especially when you're trying, trying to have a new different product for each different scheduling scenario. It leads to misalignment, confusion, costly solutions, and it's really just kind of a pain. This is where Bookings comes in, thankfully. Bookings makes things easy by being one solution that fits the needs of all of these scenarios. That means one product to learn, one set of training, and it's already included in most Microsoft 365 licenses. It's really your one-stop shop for scheduling. Bookings can be used for scheduling many instances of the same meeting type at scale, both within your organization such as IT help desk appointments, benefit consultations, office hours, training seminars, or even facilities management. Managing appointments with customers or end users from outside of your organization is just as easy. We support appointments to maintain business continuity, such as banking or healthcare visits, both virtual or in person, whatever works best for you. Uh, you can also conduct interviews, workshops, and trainings all via bookings. Bookings can be customized and rolled out across a variety of industries too, everywhere from financial services to healthcare to education and even retail. There are all kinds of use cases for bookings. You can also use it in multiple ways within your organization. So for instance, you may be using it for a financial consultation at that part of your company, but HR may be using it for candidate interviews at the same time. So it truly is a versatile solution. Now I'll go ahead and show you some examples of bookings in action so you, you can actually see what's going on. SAAQ, a government agency in Quebec, utilized bookings to allow citizens to make appointments for essential services, such as obtaining driver's license and insurance cards. They were able to increase efficiency and experienced quick, scalable deployment across their organization, across all of their different locations throughout the country. So in the education context, Florida Virtual School was looking for a, for a solution to easily move all of their meetings virtual from discussions, reviews, to even tutoring. And they needed it to support all different grade levels across students, staff, teachers, parents, uh, and they really wanted to be able to leverage their current M365 licensing. With bookings, they were able to align their schedules, prevent double booking, and more easily allow for coordination between all of these different, these different components. They were able to hold these tutoring sessions virtually so that the students got the help they needed and the parents, teachers, and staff were all able to communicate. With healthcare, Confluent Health leveraged the power of bookings in Teams meetings to conduct virtual telehealth appointments. 
They leveraged Teams online meetings and then bookings to schedule those meetings so that patients could more easily connect with their care providers to get the critical care that they needed. They were able to achieve seamless patient communication and internal coordination. As the final example, Zurich Insurance, a large financial institution, has increased customer satisfaction and achieved business continuity through bookings by offering appointment-based consults that are secure, versatile, and easy to scale. They were able to roll this out throughout the country and are soon rolling out bookings in a variety of different ways to go beyond just financial consultations. Let's take a moment to hear from a Zurich representative about their success with bookings. My name is uh, Ryan Derry. I'm the technical lead from the digital workplace uh, for Zurich Insurance Germany. Bookings were coming exactly to the right time. We're using bookings to making in this time of uh, Corona and COVID-19 is the perfect tool for our customers. They can easily um, get, choose an appointment with, with a sales organization and uh, it's easier for the sales organization to get the appointment because the customer goes to the booking site, choose the appointment, it's automatically get an invite for teams meeting if they want an online consultation or they want an, an appointment uh, in person uh, by the agency, something like that. Both work very fast and easily and then they get easily an, uh, an appointment in the calendar and can go directly to the agency or have an on the online consultation over the teams. Uh, we're already paying for Office 365 and it's already included. Yeah, that means we have, uh, that is awesome. That means from the cost perspective, it's fantastic. Uh, and then when you look at the second thing, yeah, security, it's uh, included and it's no uh, security breach. Uh, it's included in the Office 365 world and we have already, already secured everything there included. That is the second very important thing. Yeah, and it's more modern and innovative. That means um, it's easy to use. Yeah, it's easy to use for the customer and we're getting very good customer feedback also. They say, hey, two clicks and I have an appointment. Uh, I tell you the, the, the benefits from this application. You're getting new customer, you're getting satisfied existing customers. In this case, there is no long discussion about hey, uh, we don't want it. Why and did we need to implement it also? In this case, the results shows everybody in the company, in our big company also, that they needed to implement it as soon as possible. That's also very important because you have uh, less uh, um, uh, resources you need to implement it and the benefits is very big. In this case, this, uh, from my perspective, is the description of the perfect application. If you want to spend less time by shortening appointments and uh, focus on other things, then use bookings. That's the recommendation. It's very easy. If you want to have more transparency and availability of appointments of your organization and also of your of your teams, then use bookings. This both for both use cases is a very big benefit and is an, an exciting application. As you can see, bookings is extremely versatile across industries and scenarios. We continue to expand capabilities and features within the product to ensure it is a solution tailored to you, no matter how you use it. And on that note, I'll turn it over to Arvin to discuss some of the amazing things we have rolling out soon. Thank you, Jessica. This is the part I'm extremely excited about, to show you guys on how we are reimagining and redefining bookings for you. Let's go and do a little demo to show the power of booking. For the purpose of this demo, Let's imagine a scenario and put ourselves into the shoes of empathy of a user who's traversing through that. Let's assume there is a financial institution called Woodgrub. And Woodgrub provides financial services to its customer. And it could be tax assistance, it could be mortgage consultations, etc. And Woodgrub, as a financial entity, is spread across the graph and it has a few thousand employees. I'm going to put myself into the shoes. And Arvin is a financial manager who is a little tech savvy, savvy enough to play with bookings. And I would like bookings to be employed to my group so that me and my fellow coworkers can connect with the customers and provide them the financial services that they want. Let's go through this journey step by step. 
Let's begin our bookings journey at the Microsoft Admin Center. I'm at the Microsoft Admin Center and I'm gonna search for bookings. And the bookings control pane opens up. This is the place where I get to define policies and configure and set up bookings for my organization. By default, booking is turned on and you have an option to turn it off. We have further controls where you can control the degree of social media sharing that you want to. And you also get to define who can book and transact time against your organization, whether it's only restricted to people inside your organization or do you want to open it up to the World Wide Web. In addition to that, we have features where the staff information gets abstracted when communication happens with your customers. If at all, you would prefer that for privacy reasons. In addition to that, we recently are adding a feature centric to data collection and privacy. Since Bookings is a window for you to connect with your end users and end customers, it is also an opportunity where more data about them needs to be collected. In satisfaction to a lot of compliance and regulations around data privacy, we make it easy for you to define and regulate what kind of data gets collected. For example, you can really go and say, I don't want any addresses to be created for my bookings tenant. And all of these settings and changes will be applied across all booking calendars that get created for your tenant. So you just hit save and boom, it's changed. Now any subsequent calendar that gets created beyond this point will inherit all of these definitions that you have just acted upon now. Now having seen bookings enabled for the organization of Woodground, let's go one step further and see how we can quickly onboard to bookings. And what is the fastest path for us to go and create a value so that you can put bookings and create it and share that to your customers? Let's go to that. Now that you have provisioned bookings for your organization, let's go and see how we can put bookings to use very quickly. Let's get started. So once your tenant admin enables you and turns on bookings for your organization, when you go and type in bookings.office.com, you would arrive at this page. Click on the get started. And our onboarding experience starts showing up. And this is a series of simple steps for you to get started on bookings and get to value really faster. Let me show you how quickly you can get to do that. It is to be noted that whatever industry selection you make before, we have predefined templates for services that shows up automatically, like you saw the initial consult a few seconds back. It'll, now I'm gonna decide how long is the tax assistance. I'm gonna keep it at one hour, and I'm also gonna make it a Teams-powered virtual meeting. And now I'm gonna define availability rules of when the tax assistance as a service gets rendered and provided to the customers. So I'm gonna say, I want all days except probably, let's say Wednesday. I'm gonna leave this as it is. I have more granular options to change time, etc. Finally, I get to decide who are all the staff and the coworkers who will be providing the service for customers. So I'm going, I'm going to search for myself and look for me. I show up and I'm going to add a few of my friends too. So let's add Claudia. Let's add Jahidi, and let's add Raphael, probably. The good thing of this is all these staff members are already as a part of your tenant. So you don't have to go and create them. It fetches everything from your Azure Active Directory and makes it easy for you to pick and choose people and add them to your calendar. Having done this, I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna make myself an admin and I'm gonna make probably all of them admin over here. And then you hit continue. And this experience kind of tells me 
how I want bookings to be consumed by end users. Do you want to make it private so that only me and my team can book an appointments as a proxy for end user? Or do I want bookings to be entertaining only appointments that's stemming from my organization where we enforce an auth login? Or I want to open it up to anyone in the world and be a little more generous. So I'm going to pick this option and I'm going to hit complete setup. And this is where the magic happens. So a um, booking mailbox gets created. We define all the services for you and we integrate all the staff that you have picked to the bookings calendar. As you can see, we have successfully onboarded to Woodgrove Bank and created and published a bookings calendar in a matter of few steps. Let's now go and see how we can put that to use. And this is the self-serve URL that gets created as soon as a bookings calendar gets created. And you can pretty much pass it on to your customers through any of your marketing mediums, or you can even integrate that and embed that into your website. So this is the self-serve page. And I see the tax assistance being created over here. And uh, for this scenario, I'm going to pretend someone who is not myself. So I'm going to take Hadas as a persona. And Hadas wants to transact with Arvind in order to get tax assistance. Let me go ahead and choose Arvind. And all the availability for Arvind shows up over here. So I'm going to pick the first availability. And I'm going to key in my details. There it is. And I'm going to say book. And now the appointment is made between Arvin and headers, all by headers, without even having to exchange email with Arvin. Let's go and see whether we got the email. There it is. Arvin had got an email with a booking from headers. And let's see if headers got the email too. Looks so. Had us got the email too. And the thing to be noted about the emails is it also carries the Teams meeting link. So you can pretty much, during the time of meeting, there is going to be reminders that not just that's going to happen. And you can find this email and click on this link. And then you'll be connected to the Teams meeting. Now with me comfortable, in creating a bookings calendar and doing my first set of bookings, I'm going to push up a little further. I am going to challenge myself and see how bookings functions in the real world when you have a lot of staff, a lot of appointments, and a lot of services being exchanged, which is a very busy scenario. How bookings comes into play there? Now, having gotten a little comfortable with bookings, let's imagine how bookings can help you on a very busy day. Once you start using bookings, it could get really busy. You put that to use at scale when you have a lot of staffs providing too many services and there's a lot of appointments. How does booking makes it easy for you to solve in such a dense and busy situation? Let's go and see. As you can see, this is a very busy calendar. So there's a lot of staffs, a lot of services, and a lot of appointments. This presents me with the challenge of how do I get to the information and the views I need faster and quicker and in the most efficient way possible. We are going to be creating filters for both services and staffs that let you customize and view appointments that matters most to you. For example, if I am interested in just tax assistance, all it takes me is a couple of clicks to go and see only those appointments that matters towards tax assistance. And I can pretty much do this in combination with the people filters as well. If I'm curious about what calendars of Arvin and Claudia looks like, I could pretty much see that. In addition to this, we have also created pinning features so that you can pin people or services that matters most to you. And you can create a remembrance mechanism so that every time you log in, those views and those pins will be preserved for you. So for example, I'm gonna pin Claudia and Claudia moves up my staff list. 
Going back to the crowded scenario, once your business and your organization gets busy, so does the calendar. For you to triage between appointments better, we have created an appointments at risk feature so that we can flag and give things upfront for you. Those appointments that needs intervention or probably those appointments that are at risk. Let's go. Looks like I have five appointments at risk over here. Let me go and click onto that. Boom. Only those appointments that are at risk gets highlighted over here. And the nature of risk is also descriptive and embedded along with the appointment. It could be either conflicts or it could be off work or no staff assigned. Earlier, we have seen how an end user goes and creates an appointment. Let's play through a scenario where you have, re, you have got an email from a customer and you want to build an appointment for the customer as a proxy for them, you can do it yourself. So just go click on new booking. You put in the details and you get to choose the service again if you want to. And here I'm gonna pretend again that I am Hadass. And I'm gonna put my email. This time suits me. And I also get to decide who is free or busy. Looks like for this time, no one is busy. So I'm gonna probably change my time to something else. Uh, or maybe a different date. There you go. Well, Claudia is probably this free and available. So I'm going to book a time against Claudia and I just hit create booking. And now an appointment gets created between Hamid and Claudia. The final scenario that I want to preview with you today is about the experience of cloning. When you want to create multiple booking calendars at ease without having to replicate all the steps from scratch, or you get inspired from your fellow co-workers calendar and want to replicate that, booking makes it easy for you. Let's go to the clone flow. Another really interesting feature that we are really excited about is the degree to clone, where you can go and create multiple booking calendars without having to start from scratch every other time. Let me show you how easy it is. Go to a new bookings calendar and give you two options. Either you can create from scratch or you can look into the calendars that's existing in your tenant and pick up a calendar that you got inspired from. For this example, I'm gonna pick the calendar from the Seattle branch that I liked The moment you select Seattle, all the services and all the staffs and all the settings that get defined for Seattle comes along for this clone purpose. So I can pretty much go and see, okay, these are all the services that exist in the Seattle branch and I can go and customize things. For example, I can decide not to use a personal loan and I can update. Likewise, you can also go and inherit if the staffs are shared between the both branches. So, Looks like, yeah, I can go and customize and update this. And all the business information, the availability and the rest of the settings get automatically carried between the two entities. I hit continue. Now I get to define a new name. Probably I'm gonna call it uh, as Scranton branch. And I'm gonna put a logo I have a Scranton logo handy. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to leave it as financial services because that's what we do. And I'm again we're going to make it public. And I hit calendar. You could see in the background that the Woodcroft Scranton branch is already created. And that's it. Cloning is as simple as that. We hope you are as excited as we are in the features that we previewed just now. Now we want to follow through and share what are all the features that we are thinking and ideating as we deliver next and what's keeping us busy.
we really want to improve our role definitions in bookings for better. Right now, bookings supports three roles. Admin, who can pretty much read write across any booking calendar, and a viewer, which is a read-only role, and they can go and read emails pertaining to them. And a guest, where they can't really log into bookings, but they can still consume bookings through the notifications and the synchronization on the calendar happening. In addition to that, we are also thinking about extending and creating new roles, such as the scheduler, who may not necessarily provide a value or provide a service per se, but then still manage multiple calendars at large. In addition to that, we are super excited about a feature called 360 views. What it does is it connects different entities within bookings and forms a meaningful relationship with one another so that there is one experience where you can consume a variety of information. For example, let's assume I am a staff and if I want to go and see all the appointments that stack to me and be it future or current or past and also want to see all the customers being associated to me and want to see my availability, my shifts, my offers, everything getting defined, and be able to download a report of how well I'm doing in bookings and how many appointments I've done. If I want to do all these operations in one place and in one experience, that's something that's not day to day, which we are hoping to solve. As a promise to improve our reporting, we want to work on features of aggregating reports across several booking calendars, making it easy to go and download reports at a single click for several calendars. Right now, we have the reports being capped at each of the booking calendar. And if you want to do aggregate reports, you have to go and hop on between multiple calendars and individually download all the reports and massage it together. So we want to avoid you doing that. Another set of features that we are really interested to explore along with you pertains to customization of email notifications. We want to extend more creative liberties on you controlling the content of the notifications and the emails that goes up. A very powerful feature that we are also thinking is about a tag along experience where when you go and create a booking appointment, how can you create and tag another person to the appointment. Currently, without that, you have to transact an appointment, and after that, you have to forward that appointment to your friend or any of your person accompanying with you. And typically what happens is when the original appointment changes, you lose all of that updates flowing to your friend. So we wanted to create a system where you can tag along and create appointments together. And that will be enabled through the app participants to an appointment feature. And also, we want to provision and give you guys the ability to go and add attachment to appointments. We think that's a very powerful medium of communication that can happen between you and your customers where you can pass additional details and more information for them to consume and be ready when the appointment shows up. In addition to all these features that we're thinking about, we're also working on a broader investment in terms of elevating our mobile apps, both iOS and Android, and building a lot of companion features to step up the game. Last but not the least, Bookings API, which is in beta right now, is something we are extremely passionate about. We want to add more functionality there and improve performance and scale there. Those are the things that we are really excited about the future. Thank you for listening to the booking story. We hope you love bookings as much as we do, and bookings becomes a powerful tool that you can employ in your organization to do more and manage time better. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining. We hope you're just as excited for the future of bookings as we are.